What an energy crisis. British Gas have announced record profits of 33 billion this year. That's three times more profit than they made last year. Now I'm gonna do all that I can to try and keep as much money in my pockets and not into their profits. Can't even get that word right. Anyway, I've been able to generate 160 kilowatts of electricity this month. Now that's a saving of nearly 55 pounds. Join me and see how I'm making that 70% savings on my electricity bill and how I'm also saving energy by using different appliances. And of course, let's see how I'm making that into cash, cash money and a big look at my data. Let's go straight into the data. Now last month, I made 104 kilowatts of electricity. This month, I've made an additional 60 kilowatts. That's 160 kilowatts of electricity. That calculates to roughly 55 pounds worth of money savings. Last year, February, my energy consumption was 234 kilowatts. Now I've used slightly less this month by only using 200. So somewhere, I'm making even more savings. But the difference is that my panels have been able to save me 70% of my total usage. Now my goal has always been to get about 50% of savings. So across the three months, if I total these figures together, I'm just under 50% of savings. And this is the three coldest months of the year. Now I'm gonna be showing a lot more data bills towards the end of the video. I'm gonna focus on this video showing you exactly where I'm making those savings and where my electricity generation is taking place. Let's talk about cash, cash, money. Now it was looking great on some days, but it did get a bit dull towards the end. But still, that's a fantastic saving and I'm looking on target to be making my 50% target of savings. So all this free electricity, what does it mean in real money? So in February, I've generated 159 kilowatts of electricity. That's equivalent to 54 pounds and 20p in money, because it's 34p a kilowatt. Now I also have exported 18 kilowatts to the grid for free, because I haven't quite got my export tariff sorted out yet. It's sorted now though, new video coming. Anyway, if I would have had an extra battery, that would have only been an extra £6.12 worth of savings that I would have made. So I don't think a battery was the right decision just yet, but we'll keep an eye on that for future. The free electricity that I gave to the grid would only work out to be about £2.70 anyway. So the great thing is that I've now got my outgrowing export tariff set up. So anything I export, I'm going to be getting 15 pence back per kilowatt. Obviously, I want to use as much as I can, but in the months when I'm generating surplus electricity, I can just kick back and be thinking about all the money I'm making. Now, it's nowhere as nice as the old feeding tariff where they was paying somewhere around about 50p a kilowatt, but it's still a lot better than British Gas, who only want to pay 3.5p per kilowatt, and the average across all other supplies is about 5p. So I'm happy with Octopus. Now, if you're thinking of coming to Octopus, you can use my referral code. You'll get a £50 credit, and I'll get a £50 credit too. Now, just check the description, and you'll find that link in there. Whether you use it or not, happy solar. What the flux? The export tariff gets even better. Octopus are about to launch a new tariff called Flux. Now that gives us an even better tariff for people like me or you who have got solar panels and battery and we want a better buyback tariff. Now you need to have solar panels if you want this tariff. So you can't use it if you've just got a battery. But the interesting thing is, is you get a special daytime rate, you get a nighttime flux rate, and you also get a standard rate. Depending on the time that you sell electricity back to the grid or using electricity, you'll pay less or you'll pay more. Now, here's the best thing about the prices. Day rate is 33p and peak rate is 46p. But if I'm exporting, it's 23p day rate and 36.5p peak rate. Perfect time for summer surplus or even for offloading the battery. Now imagine if I'm offloading the battery at night, I can take advantage of this nighttime rate. Have I got something wrong? Or are the calculations like missing me? 36.68p nighttime rate. If I empty my battery at six kilowatts, that's two pound 20. Something to keep an eye on, I'm sure, but it will definitely make my payback even faster if I decide to do that. I've not paid a single penny this year for my electricity because I've generated a lot of my solar electricity and I've also been getting a 67 pounds government referral. And of course, anyone signs up using my code, I get the 50 pound bonus. So a big thank you to GB Leo, who has also used my sign up code. And congratulations on your install. I'm a bit of a home automation nerd, so most of my things are on smart plugs. So that gave me the perfect opportunity to explore my other appliances and find out what else was wasting energy and what it was all costing. Now I found that my laptop monitors and chargers, although they weren't on, they were still drawing small amounts of wattage, which adds up, you know, pounds at the end of the year. 
Best of all, I've got smart plugs with energy monitors on most of the big items, and I've been tracking their usage okay. for around about two years now. Let's look at some of the appliances. My fridges use 24 kilowatts of electricity. That's eight pounds 16 in money, and that works out at roughly 29 pence a day. How about the washing machine? Four and a half kilowatts of electricity there. £1.53 total and I've had about five or six washes so we're talking about about 25 pence a wash. Now I wouldn't be British if I didn't make daily use of a kettle. My kettle has used 10 kilowatts in February. That's £3.40 a month. It works out roughly about 12 pence a day to use my kettle. Now I'm only using that to make cups of tea obviously and of course I'm heating a hot water bottle to keep warm saving energy. How much do you reckon it costs me to run my microwave on a daily basis? 10 pence! 10 pence for heating my milk and my milky coffees and the occasional baked potato. My microwave has used eight kilowatts. That's amazing. Now there's lots of appliances that I tend to use when the sun's shining, so I've definitely got free electricity. So things like my air fryer and my food mixer for when I'm baking cakes, that's only used one kilowatt this month. Easy calculation, 34p. I've used that about five or six times. So every time I make a cake, it only cost me 7p. Now I've got loads of other savings of things that I could talk about for days and days or hours. But of course, here's the data, the bit you've been waiting for. Feel free to pause the screen, look at my solar generation through the day. You can see how my battery is charging and discharging, and you can also see my consumption. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoy making these videos. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me the things you like and don't like in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because my next video is going to be doing a recalculation of my payback based on my actual figures from the last three months.